But I have no idea. Okay. Did go I see do if this, it? Go see, go see if the key for the area is open. What is that? I don't know. Because it's not the one you went to before. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you, like, I'm assuming that would have been shortly after you found the abridged stuff at all. Would you show you that video, I mean. Well, there's that key. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's in this one. What's this guy got to say? I'm wondering about... They have, like... Hey! You know? The egg chase has dodged to the side before the month fires! Pay attention to it and get out of the way of fire. I don't know why he sounds like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Okay, it's gonna be somewhere up in the Crisis City like, area. Quick stuff, can help with the oh, it should not sound like that. <laughs> okay, I think they just switch between giving you advice on the different challenge stages. So it should be up in this area, right? Um, we'll go to, go up in from the other side, I think. Oh yeah, that was Crisis City. Nope. Hmm. Hard to tell. Well, because now you're too far to try. Maybe in the colors area. Yeah. Well, I mean, granted, you could just do one of the challenges over here. I could. That would have been a better idea. Oh, okay, yeah. I was just like, there has to be some way to tell if you... Whoa! Are you f kidding me? What the hell? But don't be creative. Cloud something is something something. Yeah, why did you do that? Creative cloud something something? <laughs> okay, sorry people. We don't even know if you're gonna see what we just saw. I don't think so. Uh, they should. Oh, okay. Well, because it's just recording like this whole screen. It's not recording uh, Windows. See, that just really gets me because of course I use, I would use OBS even for anything that, well, I guess. Uh, anyway, what I was starting to say was, there has to be some way to tell you've done it. Yeah, the bell is there. So yes, yeah, you're com yeah. you've completed it. I completely forgot about the, like, the bell gets added afterwards, so that was my bad. My no, oh. no bad? My bad. Oh, you can also challenge Silver for another Emerald. Alright, that sounds like a thing. Sonic? Is that really you? Or are you some kind of fake sent for the Chaos Emeralds? The last one. That was the whole reason for the fight. He didn't even wait for an answer. Is that you? This I don't is care. Why, this is why people don't like you, Silver. That and you're from a really bad game. Yeah. It doesn't, like... I guess I... my problem with him is I really wish he wasn't a hedgehog. Like, we don't need more, and... As I said before, Shadow was really just an analog for Metal Sonic. So... In a game where Shadow and Metal... Or, like... When we get to two, uh, Sonic 2006, like, and it's using characters from all over this franchise, including Shadow, they didn't need to add another hedgehog. They really should have added a, like, he should be a different animal. Yes, I agree with that. But do you, you know that all the fan characters are hedgehogs, though? Yeah, because fans are kind of dumb that way. Actually, there's 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 one called Ray. It's okay. Ray the where the hedge the hedge dragon. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he's half hedgehog, half dragon. I yeah. The name sort of gave that away. What? Like Ray? I'm pretty sure that's what that means. I'm a hedge dragon. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I just like went to a, a give up. Like, a fan character wiki thing or whatever. Yeah, I think you actually. Sent I shared it on like, Facebook. Yeah, I shared it on Facebook. I don't know if I sent it to you personally, but I did share it on Facebook. Ah, uh, I think I went to it then, just to take. I re read like the description of the character or something, and I was just like, yeah, wow. <laughs> this is this is why like fan created stuff is often so lowly regarded, because fans have a really bad habit of doing that. Making completely just like if you don't like the Werehog thing from Unleashed, and I don't, like it's ten times worse when you're like they're a dragon hedgehog, 
and they're from the future, and they can shoot Kamehameha's and <laughs> yeah. use a Keyblade. It's just like, stop. Can't Sonic use a Keyblade? No, he can use Excalibur. Oh. Nah, that's better anyway. Because he's actually, he's King Arthur. You're King Arthur. Thank you. Did you know? <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> that was like, kind of a weird, goofy. Oh, well, like, like Elvis Goofy, is what you did. <laughs> but yeah, like, but that's when it gets, like, that's why people jump. That's why people jump? I thought it was the Mac Dad! <laughs> Missed your opportunity. You'll notice you have done absolutely nothing to perform damage on him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because after doing some stuff, you'll get an opportunity, and thus far you have not attempted that opportunity. Oh. <laughs> What's the stuff I need to do? Well, you just need to not run into cards and avoid his attacks. Oh. And then eventually he'll kind of come in close, I believe, and you'll get a chance to... There's a boost that can get you through all the stuff on the ground. Yeah. Uh... He'll kind of come in close, and like, you should be able to jump attack him. Like right now, try jumping. Because like, you have to you do know. it before the camera turns. Okay. Alright, I'll give it a shot. So if it doesn't work, I'm just going to keep running this track forever, <laughs> hoping that eventually the stage just ends. I'll give it a shot. Leave it or shot. <laughs> but yeah, it, he should have been some some other animal. Like, at least with having Blaze be a second cat, there was only one other cat and people didn't like him anyway. I, I liked him. Yeah, I know, me too. And again, oh, we, don't need to, we don't need to defend ourselves against a general... Give up. You know. Froggy, where are you? <laughs> it's just like this friendship, and they had a great theme song. I loved their theme song. Yeah, I was a, I was a fan of Baby. Yeah, I, I thought. And oh, you know, when I was at the, the fishing, uh, his like fishing segments, I thought were kind of relaxed. When I was uh, on Family Feud with Pax last year. Oh, he backed up. The, the answer of like Sonic characters or whatever. I don't remember the actual thing, but I remember that I gave the answer of Big the Cat, and it was what had my team win that specific round or whatever. Funny. Yeah. Jump. It was great. Okay, I have no fucking clue. I don't remember anymore. Unfortunately, this is a situation where I can't remember unless I have my hand on the controller. Well, both uh... hands on the back rope. Yeah, 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 I knew you were gonna make that joke. Really? Yeah, because I said hand instead of hands, and didn't clarify that I meant using it, so it was an easy open for a joke about me just touching the controller while you were playing. This goes back to that whole thing where we have very similar senses of humor in front of the microphone. Behind the microphone is another story. True. And maybe we'll release that hard-hitting documentary in the future behind the microphone. <laughs> story of two assholes who make a YouTube <laughs> show. <laughs> Which we're gonna laugh at and doesn't, there's no real reason for us to laugh at it other than we made jokes about me saying that before the show. Yeah, at the grocery store of all places. That's actually Whoa. one of the stuff we talk about before we record that show. Yeah, that, or, yeah, or like fast food restaurant. Oh, there it was! Did you see it? Yes, I saw it. Okay. I think I know what to do. Maybe. There! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. More yeah! Another yeah! And a big yeah! A big yeah! <laughs> and a big yeah goes out to all those listeners out there with big yeahs. <laughs> big yeah yeahs. <laughs> yeah! If you got big yeah yeahs, let us know. <laughs> Whoa! Don't jump too soon, there you go. Catch up to him, boost, boost, catch up to him! Or don't. I was trying to boost. Whoa, and you ran into it. Because I'm pretty sure you can hit him during this. Jump. Well, Sooner. <laughs> I jumped as soon as I could. It smells like cinnamon toast all of a sudden. I like cinnamon toast. Crunch. Whatever kind of cinnamon toast, really. Regular cinnamon toast, crunchy cinnamon toast. It's gonna be hit stuff. Take uh, that! Silver the Hedgehog. I'll go back to saying Devil May Cry 2. I mean, Silver the Hedgehog. Devil May Cry 3 is the best one. It's a contender. That's the thing, though, is aside from 2, none of them are bad. 
And yeah. I like one, three, four, and five. Well, three boot equally. They all have their quirks that make them unique in the series. And that's kind of the point. Uh, kind of like. Well, yeah, kind of like the Mega Man games, actually. I was about to say, well, not really, because they use the same gimmick, but then I remember there's the sub gimmick that, like, is something the fans would be more kind of noticeable of than the, the outer gimmick of, hey, you steal people's powers to progress through the game, or as you progress through the game. But, um, one of the things that's important for the fans is the utilities, like the chain that I had. Yeah. Or rush jet, yeah. rush coil, stuff like that. Every game has a unique utility beyond... Well, after... Okay. The first game had the Magnum Beam. The second game introduced... Uh, or actually, the second game introduced the idea of having multiple... Um, utilities. And it had the platform, the wall walker, and the jet sled, which eventually was replaced by... Right. And three rush came in was a coil and a jet board. And in four, they started the real thing, the real kind of use of that trope of having something that wasn't rush to be another utility on top of your standard rush utilities. Jump and hit him. He had, he had the. Yeah. Um, in four, you get the wire adapter. In. Five, you get. I think five had the super arrow. In six, they change it. They double change it up by having it be go back to being the brushes that came in. But instead of having his standard springboard and uh, jet form, he now becomes suits that Mega Man wears. So you have the power adapter and the jet adapter. Silver got served. <laughs> nice. Uh, seven's gimmick was that it combined those two into one suit, so you had one power adapter armor for, that was Rush transformed into, but you also got Proto Man's shield was the game's secret. Eight had the Mega Ball, the soccer ball thing. Oh, from soccer. Yeah, from Mega Man Soccer. Uh, 